What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, that's cool. Let's get into this commentary. Hey homies, I just want to come in and report that Max Julian was found dead by his wife today. Um, you know, he was born January 1st in 1933 and he died January 1st of 2022, okay? And he was the star in a black exploitation film called The Mac. Now, I don't know how many of you guys saw that, that you know, movie, but it was pretty good. You know, I love me some black exploitation films, okay? Some of them are a little bit much, but, I, you know, I love black exploitation film. And um, we still have some greats left, but we're losing we're losing so many people, okay? So his PR team said in a statement that Julian's wife found him dead nearly early this morning. Um, in a statement, they paid tribute to the star's life, saying during Julian's decades-long career, he was known for being bold, honest, and straightforward. He will, you know... Um, he speaks his own truth you know, both professionally and privately. He was thought of as a rare man among men. Mm -mm -mm. Max Julian. Okay, so Max Julian, because some places got Max Julian being born January 1st, 1933, but I also see that someone um, wrote, Max Julian, January 1st, 1945 to January 1st, 2022. Okay. And the news was initially broken by um, a comic book writer named um, David F. Walker. And he said, um, I met Mac back in 1996. He was a great human being and we had so many amazing conversations. He was brilliant, hilarious, hilarious and charismatic. Rest in peace. No cause of death has yet been revealed. You know, just yesterday we lost Betty White, and she would have turned 100 years old on January 17th, and now we lost Max Julian, who was 88 years old, and we lost him on his birthday. Um, so, Max Julian, happy heavenly birthday, and may you rest in peace. It just seems like... We're losing a lot of great people. And they are older. You know, we're losing a lot of great people. Um, they always say death coming three years, you know. But I just hope I don't we don't get any more bad news anytime soon from any more icons or people that we love dearly. You know, and I know death is part of the life. It's part of life. It's a circle of life. But you know, it's it's also sad. It makes you sad when you hear of someone passing away. So, wow, Max Julian. Um, he played in a, quite a few things. You know, he had um, he played in a lot of movies. Let me see. Um, uh, I know he played in Cleopatra Jones. Um, no, it's uh, okay. Here we go. I'm gonna give you a list of movies that he played in. His he played in. He played in The Black Klansman. That was 1966. And he played as Raymond. Um, Psych Out, 1968. The Savage Seven. Uptight. The Mod Squad. The Bold Ones. The Protectors. CBS Playhouse. Getting Straight. The Name of the Game. The Mac. Clear Patch of Drones. Um, Thomasina and Bushrod. Def Jam's How to Be a Player. He was Uncle Fred in that. Restore was in 2001. He was Coach Barnes in One on One, which was in 2005. But he only played in one episode. Okay. So, um, you know, he had a good career. He had a good career. His personal life, well... His name was Maxwell Banks, and he was better known as Max Julian. Um, Julian was in a live-in relationship with actress Vonetta McGee um, from 1974 to 1977. 
McGee appeared with him in the 1974 Western action film Thomasine and Bushrod, which was intended as a counterpart to the 1967 film Bonnie and Clyde. He married Arabella Chavers in 1991. The couple resided in Los Angeles. And um, my condolences to his family. You know, it just just feels weird. We are losing a lot of people, great people. And I know that's part of life. But, you know, it's like, wow. He was 88 years old when his wife found him. You know, passed away on his, he passed away on his birthday. So, happy heavenly birthday, Max Julian. You'll never be forgotten. And I'll talk to you guys later.